Hello everyone, welcome to Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Aungajana and you tuned in to Saturday, the 27th of May 2023's Rhapsody Reading. Today's title is Knowing the Word of God. While you're still at that, please subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Share these videos with your loved ones and don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. The opening scripture is Psalm 19 verse 8, which reads as follows. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Pastor says, when we emphasize the importance of knowing the word of God, some think we mean acquiring Bible knowledge from a university or religious institution. That may have its place, but knowing the word by revelation and guidance of the Holy Spirit is different. There are Bible scholars who studied Bible knowledge as a course but have no idea what the word of God is. All scripture is God-breathed. That is, the contents and the message of the Bible came from God and are inspired by His Holy Spirit. It's His document of truth and it's trustworthy and dependable. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 with the AMPC Bible version says, Every scripture is God-breathed, given by His inspiration and profitable for instruction, for reproof and conviction of sin, for correction of error and discipline in obedience, and for training in righteousness, in holy living, in conformity to God's will, in thought, purpose, and action. Hebrews 4.12 further tells us something extraordinary about the Word of God. It says, For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. But then, what is the word of God? The word is that message from God that reveals and communicates his works, his will, his thoughts, plans, purposes, and pursuits to bring men into or promote fellowship with him in love. It's his message of truth with the content and power to build his image into the life of the hearers. Now, the content of the word is the embodiment of Christ's revelation, provisions, perfections, and instructions profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, instruction, and for training in righteousness. Therefore, Knowing or having the knowledge of the word means knowing God in his thoughts about anything. You know his thoughts, opinions, ideas, and agenda. You're looking into God's mind or his heart about anything. What a wonder. Let us take the prayer. Say, Dear Father, thank you for your word that propels, empowers, inspires, uplifts, motivates and gives me clarity of purpose. I'm educated to know your thoughts, opinions, ideas and agenda in the earth as your spirit guides me into all truth, teaching me to make the right choices and decisions that are consistent with your perfect will always. In Jesus' name, Amen. For further studies, we read Psalm 19, verse 7, 2 Peter 1, verse 21, 2 Timothy 3, verse 14 to 17. If you're on the one-year Bible reading plan, today we read John 13, verse 1 to 30, and 2 Kings chapter 20 to chapter 22. If you're on the two-year Bible reading plan, today we read Mark 13, verse 12 to 23, and Numbers chapter 30. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's Rhapsody reading. Do join us tomorrow as we read the message titled, Submit to His Will. Praise the Lord. This is Information with Tepiso. 
Thank you so much for tuning in and have a beautiful day.